Hey there guys, Melissa Marquez and in this video I'm going to teach you step by step how we can easily use board in ClickUp. So the first thing you want to do is when you would click plus view here and you would find a board, you want to click add view. You can make it private, you can make it pin view and straight away you can change the group board by. This is really important because many times you'll be using these and I'm going to explain you why in a while. So let's say I'm going to add a view. And as you can see, we have already two boards here. So as you can see right now, this board doesn't look really great because when you look on the names, this is the statuses from the list. This will be always the default. So what are the names of your statuses in your list, uh, in your, like, let's say project. Uh, let's say I'm going to add a new status, which is going to be not a YouTube channel called flowers YouTube channel and it's going to be yellow and I'm going to click save now if I'm going to save it and then I would click on a board here you would find the status here also so that's really important now what you can do always is to sort group by status you can group it by assignee you can group by priority or you're going to find the group by custom field and here you are going to find the status. So if you're like me, and let's look here, we have the list here of statuses. And let's say I can edit an option, right? So let's say I'm going to add not yet started, working on it, stuck in done like this i can click save and i would click on the board here look group by custom field status here you got it working on it done stuck empty so this is how you can do it uh, and this is how we can operate with it you can also collapse the column if you want to, so let's say I'm not going to have stuck here, only these four, you can add a task directly as you would add in a list. So you can click on a board. And this is the default that you would have. Custom field status. Now I can simply click here, new task. And let's say uh, not yet finished YouTube video about business then I would click save so how you can edit it I can simply move it here I can close the task I can select multiple tasks I can edit task I can set a priority you can even come here on the three dots and you can rename me duplicate it send email to task you can open it even and edit it right here. So the real benefit of the board view is that you can edit it as much as you want, right? So you can move it. Uh, you can even create new task. You can add a new task. You can collapse the column. Click three dots here. So that's how you do it. And that's pretty much it. So you can group it by status. And that's pretty straightforward. Now it's completely up to you if you go the way of like adding, like let's say I have the YouTube channels here. And let's say I'm going to have the board view. And I'm going to have the it right here. Or when you come here to list. And you're going to find the four things here. So you would find it business, yoga, flowers, not working complete. So how it actually looks for you, that's up to you, how you manage it and how you edit it. Now, if you can have any questions regards boards and what you can do here, ask me down in the comments. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy in my opinion. Uh, you can also sort it by filter it. You can uh, show subtasks.
you can expand all sort by you can set the by priority due date C if you want you can have it like that too now of course you can simply choose and click on a click up on the monday.com so I can click here and see the item and that's pretty cool now you can filter it so let's say vector silver and assignee is let's say myself see I'm going to find an uh, I'm going to have only those that are assigned to me in ClickUp. So that's also pretty cool. And that's something you can do that's really effective. Now when you go further and when you have uh, the signee here, you can go <clears throat> and create the task where you want and then just simply move it. So, yep. You can also add a view and simply choose a different views here. Add a form, have, have a whiteboard, workload. And then, in my, in my opinion, you should have everything in notifications at home. So the things you have to do, you shouldn't really go uh, too much to spaces and spend a lot of time in there. In my opinion, you should like set it and done and go and do the work, you know, do the job you want to. So uh, this is pretty much it. This is how you can use the board, how you can use the Kanban in ClickUp. I'm also gonna like board view ClickUp. Search what I can show you. The Kanban board. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You have auto save it. And you can save it as a template also. Board. So that's pretty much it. Thank you. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.